What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you were new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free journal collective reading, caps to decide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for a sign of Libra. This could resonate if you have leads in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, fourth, moon, 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 energy of your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general oracle card for a sign of Libra for mid-May of 2022. Thanks, everyone, for all the likes, subscribes, and shares. If you'd like to donate, this High Priestess Tarot 5, the link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display your name um, for privacy and confidentiality purposes um, to let everybody know. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,590 subscribers right now, so thanks so much. Okay. So, the channelings I receive for uh, the sign of Libra for mid-May of 2022 are, so far I've received a very public forum is about to become very, very significant in the Libra's life. Um, uh, uh, incident regarding assault of a co-worker to a, uh, another co-worker is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. And um, there was another one and I forgot. Um, hold on, give me a second. Oh, a very important survey in a workplace um, entity coming soon. Yeah, that was it. A very important survey um, coming in a workplace entity soon. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So a very public forum is about to become very significant in a particular Libra's life. So um, I'm thinking this is like an open forum. I'm thinking like school board, um, like not school board, but school district um public you know um display of opinions etc 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 some kind of public forum so i'm thinking like school district energy or corporate entity um company uh employee energy or um uh, or uh political energy or something of that nature some kind of public forum energy it could be Community matters, um, it could be political activism, it could be corporate employee uh, open um, forum to speak out on issues and concerns and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, whatever, however that resonates in one's life. But very public community wide S type form energy is what I'm feeling for some. Um, for some, it is, uh, I heard an assault of a coworker to another, a coworker is about to become very significant in a Libra's life soon. So this could be you that has been assaulted by a coworker or someone you're connected to that has been assaulted by a coworker. I feel this could be um, physical assault um, or, uh, or an object they have assaulted you or somebody you're connected to with or verbal assault or a combination of both, um, however that resonates. Um, and um, there was a third one too. Uh, what was the third one? And whatever the third one was, I can't remember what third one was. You plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Libra. Dragonfly spirit, true transcends illusion. Spirit messages here outside Libra. A very significant workman's compensation, false workman compensation claim of the past is about to become very, very, very significant to a particular Libra soon. A very significant false workman compensation, uh, workman, workers' compensation claim of the past is about to become very significant to a Libra soon. So maybe you're investigating this false worker, worker's compensation claim in the past, or you filed the false worker, work, well, I can't speak, filed the false worker's compensation claim in the past, or you are um, 
in the middle or you are doing the investigation on the on the false work workers compensation claim of the past how oh, that resonates but some kind of false workers compensation claim of the past whether um you're whether it's you that filed it or somebody you're connected to filed it how uh how that resonates it's about to become very very significant to at least one particular libra uh soon how that resonates whatever side you're on of that are you on the high vibrational side the low vibrational side you only you know your story not anybody else so you plug it in how it resonates spirit messages you have with only breath Someone is going to go to jail soon. It's going to shock the hell out of you. Not you. Okay, I heard someone is going to go to jail soon. It's about to shock the hell out of you. It's not you. If this resonates for you, uh, if that particular message resonates for you, there's someone that's about to go to jail, it sounds like, in your energetic space. Or it could be somebody of your past. How that resonates, Libra? I heard it's not you, but it's going to shock the hell out of you, whoever this person is that's about to go to jail. Um, however that resonates in one's life, Libra. Number 22, 57, 19, or 29 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 22, 57, 19, or 29, it could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. Come on, buddy. Confirmation from my intuitive kitty. Uh, 22, 57, 19, 29. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, it's fat boy. It's fat boy. It's not intuitive. Either. Come on. Come on. A particular Libra's child is about to become very, very, very ill. Hidden, hidden health concern there. You're about to learn of it very soon through many series of chain events. Okay, I heard a particular Libra's child is about to come very uh, ill soon. There's a hidden health concern there. I didn't hear specifically what it was, um, but I heard you're about to learn of it soon. That could be the true transits illusion as well. This hidden health concern of your child is, I feel you are the actual parent of this child, biological parent of this child, and um, you're about to learn of the hidden health concern soon, whatever it is and however it applies in one's life. Um, I heard through many series of time events, so I think they may go in for testing or lab work or something of that nature, and um, that's how you're going to learn of it, or maybe there's a ER visit or something like that, however that resonates. Okay. We have Dragonfly Spirit, True Transit Illusion, Squirrel Spirit, Believe in Yourself, Hat, You Will Be Playing a Different Role, Archway, New Opportunities, pass Possibilities and Pathways, Clouds, Temporary Problems, Enlightenment, Transmutation. For some, you could be dealing with another air sign or earth sign. We have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy in your animal spirit cards. You plug it in, how it resonates. For some, your children, uh, child or children that's about to, that has this hidden health concern that you're about to learn of soon. Maybe they're a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo child, possibly. Only you know your story, not anybody else. If you think anyone else uh, would like my channel, please feel free to share my channel on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. True Transcends Illusion.
An older Libran masculine energy was helping cover up a stolen inheritance from a family member. However, through many series of chain events, this person that once did this is about to create a series of chain events to help it go back to the rightful owner. They are in regret now. Oh, so you plug it in how it resonates. For one of these people, they are a lawyer. For one, they are not. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, older Libra and masculine energy here, if this resonates for you, Libra. Um, one, you're a lawyer. One, you're not, I heard. But I heard in the past, you basically um, helped you helped a family member basically steal a inheritance from another family member is what it sounds like here. And one, you're a lawyer, for goodness sakes. Um, but I heard you're in deep regret now. You're going to soon you're going to create series of chain events to help it basically go to the rightful owner. So true transcends illusion. You're about to help the truth come out and create series of chain events to help the stolen inheritance go to the rightful Owner or owners, I feel this could be money, this could be property, this could be land, a property, a land, this could be um, home or homes. You plug it in, how it resonates. It could be a combination of both, but you're about to start creating a series of chain events to help it balance out, basically, like side energy. And for some, like I said, this could be the true transolution, could be your child, the revealing of the hidden medical health concern here. You plug it in, how it resonates. For one Libra, a particular Virgo is about to get very, very, very ill, unexpectedly ill. Adult Virgo. It's about to shock you for some. For some, you knew it was going to happen. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So... Older, uh, I'm sorry, Virgo energy, Virgo adult energy, um, whoever this Virgo is and how they apply in your life, Libra, you have to plug them in how they resonate. Masculine or femme Virgo, I'm feeling, but I heard they're about to start getting very, very, very ill. For some, you expected them to get ill. For some, you did not. So for some, I feel they already have um, pre-existing health conditions um, and they're already ill in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I think people knew they were ill, that for some they could be um, in long-term care facilities or assisted living or something of that nature or acute care in the hospital currently. How that resonates, um, some you knew it was coming, some you didn't. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Virgo energy. The truth coming out about this Virgo about to get very ill. For some, they could be on hospice possibly. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. A particular Libra has had writer's block for one. One, they have had not have not had desire, drive, and motivation to get up and start making things happen. But soon, series of chain of events is going to um, some motivate them, some force them to get it done. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, uh, whoever this resonates with. So for some, I feel you might have mild depression. Uh, I didn't hear you did, but I feel you might for some. Um, I heard you don't have desire, drive, and motivation to basically get things done. So, I mean, I'm not talking about like major depression or anything, but, you know, everybody goes through bouts of small, mild depression. It's all in how you handle it, basically. Whoever this is for, I don't feel it's like major depression. For some, it might be. But you don't have desire, drive, and motivation um, to get things done. So, um for some, I heard soon, it sounds like you're going to get an energy boost or a, uh, poke in the butt or something, um, maybe for somebody else or something in the universe that's about to 
poke you to do it for some, for some, you're going to be forced to do it. Uh, it's something, it sounds like important you need to do if this resonates for you, but it's like you don't, you either don't want to do it. You're either stubborn and don't want to do it, or you just have like depression and you don't want to do it. However, that resonates. You just don't feel like doing it. Um, believe in yourself. I feel is, you know, believing in yourself to know you can do it. If this resonates. For some, I feel it's like physical ailments. For some, it might be just mental or some a combination. But for one, you're about to be forced to do it. For one, um, it's something in the universe that's about to wake you up and I think motivate you to do it. However, that resonates. Pat, you'll be playing a different role. A particular phone call from a husband's parent is about to really, 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 really wake up a particular Libra in a huge way. A huge way. Okay, I heard a particular phone call from a, um, from a spouse's parent is about to really, really wake up a Libra in a huge way. So, um, parent. Phone call from a spouse's parent, if this resonates for you. So you'll be playing a different role as in maybe you don't speak to this um, spouse's parent or parents or um, whatever they're about to say to you is about to wake you up in such a huge way. Maybe you're going to end up playing a different role as far as tr in trying to solve the problem or get something done or maybe it's regarding your spouse or a child or children or someone you're connected to however that resonates, but somehow you're going to be playing a different role. It sounds like after you talk to this um, spouse's parent, it could be a mother or father. However, that plugs in one's life. For some Libras, a breakup with an Aries is very, very, very significant, very final ending. Oh, Lord. I heard for some of you guys that breakup with an Aries is very, very, very significant final ending. So um, you will be play playing a different role in that aspect is um, the breakup energy. Now, whether you're breaking up with them or they are breaking up with you, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But the different role energy in this aspect, I'm feeling, is the breakup energy. Whether you are the one that's breaking up with them or they are the one breaking up with you. But I heard it's final ending. Or it's going to be final ending. So that different role aspect, too, is completely cutting off communication. Either they're going to completely cut off communication with you or you are going to with them. And it's just going to end. And y'all are going to move on separately in different paths. No stalking, no obsessing, no slashing tires, no putting sugar in gas tanks, no crazy, hopefully no petty, crazy energy. Hopefully no hidden cameras placed in people's um, spaces or dwellings or trackers on vehicles or anything. Ending it, moving on, different role, breakup energy. For some, an ill mother is about to become very significant in your life. You're going to feel you need to move back to help this person. They're about to start getting very ill. Okay. Her for some, an ill, mo Ill mother is about to become very significant in your life. Um, you're going to feel like you have to move back to help this person because they're about to start getting very ill. So some kind of ill mother uh, type energy in your life. It could be your actual biological mother or someone you think is um, you called a mother or felt was a mother to you. How that resonates in your life, Libra. Uh, but I heard you're going to feel like you need to move back to basically, I think, take care of this person or help take care of this person. Um, it sounds like it's going to be a serious illness here. Um, I didn't hear specifically what kind of illness it was, but enough to where you feel like you're going to have to move back to help take care of her, whoever she is and how that resonates. So different role, caretaker energy for this mother or mother type energy. Um, I feel it is your mother or someone that you feel is a mother to you in some shape, form, or fashion.
archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. For some Libras, a particular cancer has completely cleared their way out of your life. Party, 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 party. For some, this has made you very sad, but you're about to realize it's about to really help you in a great way. Negative energy clearing. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of cancerian energy, it can be masculine or feminine cancer. They could have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them being named in Jupiter charts if this applies. But uh, it sounds like they have cleared their, they have already cleared themselves out of your life, Libra, this cancer, masculine or feminine cancer. It could be anybody to you, um, whoever this person is and how they apply. But um, I heard party, party, party. So I think they're a huge partier or you are the huge partier. Somehow somebody influenced somebody in this situation to party. Whether it was you that influenced them to party or they influenced you to party because, you know, energies can be reversed. But they, it sounds like they have taken great action already in the energetic space to leave your life. Um, I think they might have moved physical locations or moved dwellings or physically separated themselves from you. I heard uh, for some you're very sad about this, um, but for some um, you're not. But you're about to realize basically that um, it's about to basically... This cancer clearing out of your life is actually about to open up some wonderful paths and possibilities and clearances in your life. I heard negative energy clearing. So I think they were negative energy to you. I, I feel for some, they heavily manipulated you to party, party, party. For some, you could have been the heavy manipulators to have them party, party, party. But I feel for a majority of you guys, they heavily manipulated you to party, party, party. Now, of course, you are still the own manifestor of your destiny. And if somebody manipulates you to party, you still make that free willing choice to party. But the point is, I don't think they were a good influence, uh, whoever they are. Um, negative energy, I heard. So I, I think they were a partier for sure. For some, you could have been a partier right along with them. I don't know. Only you know the story, not anybody else. But point is, they already gone out of your life. For some, you're sad about it. For some, you're not. But it's actually going to end up being a blessing in disguise and opening up... Um, New opportunities, possibilities, and paths. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. Okay. Clouds, temporary problems. A significant funeral is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. A significant funeral is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. That's what I heard. For some, you will not go. You will be too busy. You will send your condolences. For some, it is some someone you grew up with. For some, a college mate. Okay, I heard for some, you will be too busy. You will not be able to go. You will send your condolences. For some, it's someone you grew up with. For some, it's a college mate. So, a former college mate. Um, so, funeral energy, strong uh, for some of you guys. Um, but for some, you will be too busy. You won't be able to go. It sounds like you'll send flowers or... Um, or a letter or a note or something, sending your condolences, however that resonates. Um, clouds, temporary problems. A roadblock, physical, physical roadblock is about to become very significant in a Libra's life soon. Long detour. Okay, I heard a physical roadblock is about to become very significant in a Libra's life soon. Uh, long detour. So, I, and this, I, I heard physical roadblock. So, I think it's something actually on the roadway that's going to become a, road, uh, a roadblock. 
I heard long detour. So a uh, temporary problem is this physical roadblock on the roadway um, that's going to cause a long detour, I think, around it. For some, it was uh, it was an explosion. For some, it was large stones impeding the roadway. Oh my lord! I heard for some it was an ex it's an explosion, and for some it's large stones impeding the roadway. So some kind of um, it sounds like landslide of rocks. Uh, I picture. And it's, this isn't a vision, but I picture like a mountain and a landslide of, of stones just kind of come down and they land on the roadway. That's how I envision this. It's not actual vision, but that's what I'm picturing here um, with the large stones on the roadway. I feel like it's a mountainous type area trying to travel around a mountain possibly for some or near a mountain or somewhere that has a lot of stones like um uh what is it with the big stony area with the faces that's carved into it mount rushmore like R mount rushmore energy where there's a lot of stones but somehow the stones create a landslide and they get onto the roadway for some for some it's an explosion that caused the blockages in the roadway so um that's temporary problems as well uh roadway energy For one Libra, your husband is about to start getting very, very, very ill. A lot of doctor's appointments coming up soon and quickly. A lot. Okay, I heard for one of you guys, your um, husband is about to start getting very ill. A lot of doctor's appointments coming up soon and quickly. So um, temporary problems are all the, I think, having to move your life around to um, 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 partake in these doctor's appointments for your husband. Um, you could be masculine or feminine, Libra, but you definitely have a husband, a masculine energy husband. Um, and it sounds like he is the one that's about to start getting ill, not you. For some, it could be that Virgo. Maybe it's your Virgo husband. For some, maybe not. But um, a lot of doctor's appointments coming up. So it's something serious, uh, I feel, or somebody feels it serious, however that resonates. And that could be the believe in yourself energy, too. Believing you can get all this done. Believing in yourself. Taking charge and helping your ill husband um, in his time of need, possibly, if that resonates for you. Enlightenment. A very angry Capricorn is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. Very significant. And an angry Aries. And an angry Scorpio for some. Oh, my Lord. I heard an angry um, Capricorn, angry Aries, and an angry Scorpio is about to become very significant in a Libra's life soon. So, angry people energy and an angry Pisces for some. And an angry Pisces. So, my Lord, we got four angry people. Uh, for some of you guys, you'll be dealing with one of these people. For some, two plus. Some, maybe none. But we have angry Capricorn energy, angry um, Aries energy, angry Scorpio energy, angry uh, Piscean energy. They could have um, Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio, or Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femi, Hamer, Jupiter charts. Masculine or feminine, you plug in and how it resonates. But I think you're about to get enlightened. They're angry. They could be angry at you or over at somebody else or over person, people, place, or situation. However that resonates. But it sounds like they're about to come to you. They are definitely about to let you know in a huge way. Not going to hold back. Okay, I heard they definitely are about to let you know in a huge way. They're not going to hold back. So it sounds like they're going to let you know they're angry. Um, for some, I feel they could be angry at you. For some, it could be angry at a situation. 
uh, for some angry at somebody else, but they're not going to hold back that they're angry. Um, they will display their feelings to you that they are angry. So enlightenment energy to you, Libra, that they are angry over something. Uh, either they're angry at you or at somebody else, but they are not going to hold back that they're angry. They're going to tell you they are. They're going to be very open with you that they're angry. Either at you or at somebody else or over a situation or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A particular Libra is about to find out a Piscean's husband is about to pass away. This Pisces is about to come at you full force, very angrily. They feel you had something to do with it. Oh, my Lord. Whoa. What the crap, man? Uh, whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of Piscean's husband's about to pass away. Um, cancer. Cancer. Pis okay, so a Pi this Piscean's husband has cancer. They're about to pass away. Um, but they feel you had something to do with it. Uh, I, how, why they feel you had something to do with it, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But some reason, this Piscean, they could be a masculine or femme Piscean, but they are married to a masculine energy that has cancer. I'll tell you that. Um, they feel you had... when they, It sounds like when this person passed away, passes away, they're going to feel you had something to do with the death, or they feel... That maybe you had something to do with why they had cancer or maybe a combination of both but sounds like they're about to come at you very angrily enlightenment energy that they're this pisces is angry over it sounds like the upcoming death of her husband or her or him or hers husband that has cancer they have cancer it sounds like they're about to pass away soon somehow they're about to either connect you to the death or they feel you had something to do with the death how that resonates Many shocking series of chain events are about to occur with this situation. Once the death occurs, an investigation is going to occur. Oh my Lord, this is terrible. Many shocking series of chain events are going to occur. Once the death occurs, an investigation will occur. So enlightenment that there's going to be an investigation over this death. This husband that currently, it sounds like current in the energetic space has cancer, but he's about to pass away soon. And there will be an investigation on it. Uh, it sounds like... It, for one of you guys, an investigation on you, if this resonates, because this Piscean, whether they're masculine or femme Piscean, I feel for some they're femme Pisces, they feel you had something to do with the death or, or causing this person to have cancer or them passing away or something, this masculine energy that has cancer, how that resonates and applies in one's life, but alignment of the investigation that's coming up after this masculine energy that currently has cancer in the universe passes away. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Woo! Transmutation. A younger Libran, 35 and below, is about to completely change their whole life, completely move very far locations, very soon and very quickly. Starting over. Well, this is a good one. Thank God, because there's some heavy energy in here. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So whoever this is for, you're a younger Libra in energy. I heard 35 or below. Um, I heard you're about to basically start your whole life over. You're about to start your whole life over. I heard you're about to move far locations soon and quickly. So wherever location you are at in the current energetic space, you are not happy there, I'll tell you that, or you just want to change how that resonates. And you're about to completely physically move, it sounds like, um, far, I heard. Um, you, I heard you want to start over. You want to just completely change your whole life. You want to transmute your life. You want to transmute your life, transmute the location, tra I mean, change your whole life. You're about to change it all, all up. Um, and you're about to move physical far locations. Um, it sounds like you free willingly want to do this. So this is really, really beautiful energy. You plug it in, how it resonates, transmutation of you and your life and physical locations here.
And one younger Libran, 35 and below, is about to change career fields. Completely change career fields. Oh, that's beautiful, too. And one of you guys, younger Libra, I heard, uh, 35 or below, is about to completely change your entire career field. Completely change it. So whatever career field you're currently in, only you know your story, not anybody else, but you're about to transmute yourself career-wise and change your career, whatever it is. It, I feel it's going to be something completely different for what in the world you're doing now. I'll tell you that. Whatever it is you're doing now. For some, you're currently officers of the law. For some, you work in the legal sector. For some, you work in healthcare. For some, manufacturing. Okay, for some, you work in healthcare. Some in manufacturing. Some officer of the law. Um, and there was another one too. Legal sector, legal sector. Um, currently, but you're about to, it sounds like you want a new career path. Um, and it sounds like you're about to take it. You're about to transmute it and take it. You're 35 or below, masculine or feminine, if that resonates for you. For some, you possibly could do both. You could move far locations and transmute your career field. I mean, if that resonates for you, only you know you're showing anybody else. But a lot of transmutation in here, a lot of changing, whether it's physical locations or career sectors. However, that resonates in one's life, Libra. If that resonates for you, I feel you could be masculine or feminine for either one of those. You plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. A pardon is about to become very, very, very public. Very public. Confirmation for one Libra. And charges are about to be dropped on a particular case soon. A Libra is about to help make about to help have a hand in making this happen. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So a particular pardon is about to become very significant, uh, very public and very significant for at least one of you guys. I heard that's going to be confirmation. So confirmation uh, for you in some shape, form, or fashion, Libra, or confirmation, universal confirmation um, of some kind of pardon energy. Um, it's about to become very public. So it sounds like everybody and their mom is going to know about this part of energy somewhere in the universe. But I feel it's going to be confirmation for you in your life in some shape, form, or fashion when you hear about this pardon. Uh, but it sounds like a ton of people are going to know about this pardon, but it's going to be confirmation for you in some shape, form, or fashion, Libra, however that resonates. And for one of you guys, I heard charges are about to be dropped. Charge or charges. For some, it is one charge. For some, it is two plus charges. For some, it is one plus charge. For some, it is two plus charges. Um, but it doesn't sound like it's you that's being charged with this one charge or two plus charges. It sounds like it's somebody else. I heard you're going to have a hand in helping these charge or charges get dropped on person or people or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, um, if this resonates for you. Um, and that could be the transmutation as well, um, helping... Um, this person or people with one or two plus charges get these charges dropped off um, off of their back, basically, if this resonates for you. Um, and enlightenment, enlightenment of the pardon energy, that's about to become very, very, very public. Um, and for one of you guys, I feel it's going to be confirmation for you in your life in such a form or fashion when this pardon becomes very, very, very public. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Maybe the pardon going public um, is confirmation for you to help drop this charge or charges off person or people is what I'm feeling for some of you guys. But only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. A particular settlement is about to become very, very, very important in a Libra's life. Very important. For some, you are a law dog. You're going to help make this happen for your client. For some, you're going to help make this happen for someone else. For some, you will be a part of the settlement. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So settlement, settlement energy strong in here. For some, it sounds like you're going to get a part of this settlement or the whole shebang, how that resonates. 
for, uh, for some, I feel it's like a class action or something where you'll get a part of it. But um, for some, it could be a, a lump sum settlement, however that resonates. Uh, for some, you are a law dog in this and you're going to help your client get the settlement. For some, you are going to help someone else get a settlement. So I think that's the helping get the charge or charges drop and then help getting them a settlement possibly maybe, or some other way you're gonna help them get a settlement. Maybe you work in the legal sector, maybe you work, uh, maybe you're gonna provide information um, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. You have to plug yourself in where you resonate. If you do, are you the law dog that's gonna help your client get the settlement? Are you, um, one that's going to get part of a settlement or the whole shebang of the settlement or you one of the ones that's going to help someone get a settlement you plug it in how it resonates all right well i think we're done i love you guys so very much everybody make wonderful choices and i hope this helped and i love you guys so much and namaste